Brigantia Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Happy Tuesday and welcome to Modern Problems Pagan Solutions. We are going to discuss feeling overwhelmed and how turning into natural rhythms can help us because it's all a bit too much sometimes, isn't it? We all have our proper load that we expect to carry in life, but sometimes it does feel as though there's just an unending number of burdens that are just dropped onto our shoulders and the weight becomes too much for us. The busyness becomes too much for us and it becomes difficult for us to see a way out of that. Uh, I think that's the tipping point where we aren't just burdened down, but we're getting sucked down to a, to a whirlpool, seeming to never reach the bottom of it. However, let's not assume that we're automatically doomed or that we're powerless to bring ourselves up or that we're unable to simplify. Let's be brave and let's take a closer look at what's dragging us down and ask ourselves a few questions to help restore some perspective. Now, if you are feeling a bit of resistance doing this, no, you are not alone. That's very common. Uh, part of the reason is that when you are overwhelmed, the brain is trying to convince you that it is beyond escape. So make yourself a nice cup of tea, find a quiet spot, take your journal with you if it will help, and make a conscious decision to allow yourself to think things through. So to begin with, what are your genuine responsibilities? And do you have reasonable expectations of what carrying out those responsibilities actually consists of? Have you taken on tasks that properly belong to other people? Why did you do that? And are you going to return their proper responsibility back to them? Plain speaking is probably going to be required for this to happen, but are you willing to do that? And are you actually enjoying the things that you do for recreation? If it's just an exercise and numbing down your senses or it's a time-wasting distraction, it's probably time to reconsider what you do actually enjoy and ask yourself why you have denied yourself those things up to this point. Reflecting on those basic questions is the first step towards helping you distinguish what is part of the natural rhythm of your life and what has been imposed upon you and doesn't really fit in. Another aspect to consider while you're strategizing how you will begin the process of rebalancing is to take the time of year into account. With all of the modern comforts and technology and transportation, we are less aware of the natural ebb and flow of the seasons. And this leads us to having unreasonable expectations about how much we can accomplish and what amount of time and to what degree of success. This disconnection sabotages us, you know, pagans and non-pagans alike. Winter is a season of rest. We are not meant to be going at full tilt right now. This is a time to restore ourselves, be a bit quieter, conserve our energy, reflect, meditate, sleep more. And on a related note, you might also take the astrological atmosphere into consideration. And you don't have to be an expert to get the general gist of the conditions. What I'm doing for my own practice is making a list of the planets, their core symbolism, and then a list of the signs, their core symbolism. And then I ask myself what happens when those energies combine. And I've been building my impressions around that and checking the, that against what the astrologers have to say. These are rhythms of energy that are every bit as much about the season and weather we experience today. It's a pattern that we benefit from cooperating with rather than trying to defy. Now, the last rhythm I will touch upon in this video is the rhythm of human life itself. Where are you in the timeline of this current incarnation? People who are doing their best to fool themselves into believing that age is just a number, uh, but we know that simply isn't the case. As pagans especially, we know that simply is not real. Because even if we are young at heart or have a particularly vital spirit, the reality of our age, the life stage we're experiencing, and everything that goes along with that continues to exist, whether or not we're ignoring it. And if we're in our 40s, we shouldn't be trying to carry on as if we were still 21. Those who are in their teens need reminders that they are not adults yet. And elderly people should embrace the lessons that they've gleaned through their years and not sell the values of those short. Acknowledging this reality and what comes along with this will help us manage our personal expectations, avoid being overwhelmed and overtired, and it being more able to flow in with all of the rhythms affecting us rather than swimming against the tide. So that's what I have for you this week. Let me know your own reactions and thoughts in the comment section or come visit us on Gilded. There's a link to join Black Riz Brew in the description box below and you'd be very welcome there. But that will do it for now and I will see you next time. Bye.